Why is it that certain curbs on certain racetracks love to dish out death sentences to innocent, unsuspecting sim racers? Sometimes you can use them and it all seems well, but sometimes you step a tyre on them and it's all over. Is it just a lottery or is there a logical reason why they can buckle your car like it's just stepped on a UK plug with bare feet? Speaking of plug, get 5% off a GT Omega using code Danny Lee. To me, there is no curb that snags more sim racers as the one on the outside of Spoon Curve at Suzuka, at least in iRacing's version of a track. And whilst it's not the only one out there with a taste for evil doing, it's definitely the one with the highest kill count for me. Here's me being victimised by this curb on a qualifying lap in the UK sim racing Porsche Cup recently. As you can see, it goes wrong really fast and it's all down to the way this nefarious curb is built. The cause of the curb's lethality is in its shape or profile. Thanks to our camera controls, we can swoop in and just about see that the curb has a cliff edge where the red and white curbing meets the green surface on the outer edge. But don't worry if you can't see it, as it's about to become very clear. As my car slides wider and slips further and further over the curb, you can see how my rear right tyre climbs over the ripple curbing and ends up overhanging that prominent cliff edge leaving nothing but fresh air underneath a portion of the tyre. That's bad news. At this exact moment, because I'm cornering to the left and my car's weight is mainly bearing down on the right hand side, the right rear tyre is the most important tyre on the car now. It's the one bearing all the responsibility for keeping the whole thing under control. If anything should cause this tyre to suddenly lose grip on the track, especially this one alone, then the car will almost instantly become unstable and spin. And that's exactly what happens. Just when that tyre is needed the most, I happen to put it in a position where a large portion of it isn't even touching the track. It's a well-known fact that tyres need to touch the track in order to work. And in any good driving simulator, that fact is baked in. Like squirting dish soap under a weightlifter's right foot, the end result of this is quick and violent. This curb is dangerous, but it's not the only one like it. There are many curbs and track features across the sim racing world that have a similar property, whether it's shaped like a cliff edge, divot, or sausage. But if you have the knowledge and experience, you can fight back. These types of curbs can only hurt you if you place your tires square onto the part that's deadly, whilst your car is fully loaded onto whatever side is gonna be meeting that curb. In our spoon curve example, You'll be fine if your tyres run on this part, and you'll be fine if your tyres run on this part, but not if you're half on half off. This is the kill zone that collapses the grip underneath any tyres that run on it. So, if it looks like you're about to land squarely on this danger zone with your tyres, you as the driver must react and essentially bail out of the corner and run a little bit wider than you already were in order to ensure your outside tyres clear the kerb and hop over the other side of it. You might end up losing a bit of time as you have to then safely rejoin the track and get back on the right side of it, but that's a good sight better than getting spun around. Let your tyres run on one side of it or the other, never half on half off. And I've wanted to do this topic for a while because it's an excellent visualisation of how nothing matters more than how well your tyres contact the track, and it's the combination of which tyres are making better contact than the others that defines what happens to your car as you go around the track. Just did a whole video on this, so check it out. What other examples of killer curbs are out there? Well, there's the corner after it, no less. It also has a rising cliff edge, and you can sometimes end up floating a tyre square onto that edge if you don't quite get the turning you needed on the corner just before it. Many people have suffered a quick and deadly fate thanks to skimming their tyres on this razor's edge at the top of a ripple curb. The solution is simple, avoid running on this line. If you're not going to keep your car inside the curb, make sure you're outside of it. Another example of a killer curb is this one in Spa. It's got a dip across its profile, meaning that if you just happen to catch a rear tyre on the edge of that guttering, the grip underneath it can suddenly evaporate. This curb has made several attempts on me in the past. If your tyre is either side of it, then it's not too bad. It's when you slice along it that it does you in. The curb on the entry to Puon is also just like this, making an already risky corner even riskier if you just happen to lock your tyres into this gutter-esque tramline. 
These curbs are lethal, but they're not moving targets. They're easy to tame if you react to your car's positioning. Just make sure you're one side of them or the other. These are the ones that come to mind for me, but do you have any Nemesis curbs out there that just love to ruin your race? If so, I want to hear them, so drop a comment. Thanks for watching, drop a like on this video and subscribe for more like this. And cheers again.